Hey guys, I'm Nash, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas, where we're gonna go tackle my plant phobia by going to Vault 2-2. I'm sorry? What was the point of that mailbox being a bomb? Mm, okay, time to face your fears. Yeah, I wish you could stay out. The plants kill. Yeah, yeah. Time for more fights. Can you act any- Jeez. <laughs> See, like, these plants? I don't like these. Oh, I gotta walk through them. It's making me itchy. I don't like it. Okay, true story, though. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can tell you a true story. So, I was playing uh, Fallout 3, and it was the Point Lookout DLC, and the giant punga that you have to get transported to freaks me the fuck out. So I was eating a plate of fried chicken. Homemade fried chicken, it was the shit. And I was it was playing it while eating the chicken. I had the chicken on my lap while I was playing it. And I tried to go the minimum distance that I could to interact with a giant plant. Well, the fucking game decided to teleport my guy to right in front of it. I fucking panicked because I was playing on a big screen TV and I was really close to the TV. Freaked out, jumped up, threw my chicken across the fucking room. And yeah, that's the story of how Fallout 3 ruined my nice homemade fried chicken because of plants. I really don't like plants. Oh, I really hate plants. Vault 2-2 Expedition. Well, that fucking helps. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running, and I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. The growth of the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildren was onto something after all. Since my pit boys on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and co- and collate- collate, that's a new word for me- and collate the data before leaving. There's always one. Why is it every single terminal I go to, there's always that one word that throws me off my game? Okay, so I think I might be able to repair the elevator. Oh, go to level two. I got XP for that, guys. Alright, you guys got my back if something tries to get me, right? Look, Grandma's already on the lookout! Okay, I'm trying to keep a... God, so many rooms, I'm gonna get lost. Hello there, plant friends! This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants, with a concentration on producing plants with high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systematic pressure have been bypassed. I've been hearing some strange chittering sound for some time now, and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I couldn't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to experienced mercs. Yup. It's because there's plant people. I'm sure. Shut up, Raul. Our victory was purely thanks to your... Brilliant leadership, boss. Raul, do you have to shit in my mouth? <laughs> I'm not trusting this. Could maintenance look into the duct work here on level 2 again? I know you guys took a look back last week, but I swear the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up this time, too. Yeah, Phil. I'm not crazy. This room purely exists to piss me off. So does this one. Those big honking ass plants. Yeah, just rooms filled with copious amounts of foli foliage. That's all I need. Came through. And let's just go- Oh god! <laughs> Grandma, you can't sneak up on me like that! <laughs> Grandma, you about gave me a fucking heart attack. 
<sighs> you fuck off over there. Oh, it's making me itchy. You! This is expedition. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some kind of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious. At least the ghouls. Great. Raul, you're safe. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. Status reports. Yields continue to improve, splicing together cultivar G not G GN188 with the existing corn samples have produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day to, due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he's in fact sick. Because Dr. Peters is a dick. On a lark, the guys in pest control sent up a sample of a substance of one of their specimen that a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has mood-altering effects on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing. Quite a number of staff have begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I've begun to order them to stay in bed to recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. Not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. Oh, well, Peter's died. There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by all of the things Dr. Peter's corpse said by, of all, fuck reading comprehension. The commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. <laughs> of all the things. Doesn't ought to stay dead. I don't know who could start such a vicious rumor, but it's an exceptionally bad taste. Not cool. Corpses don't react. Is he not gonna attack me? No. That's real cool. Okay, fourth level. Hey, anybody gotta take a piss? Oh god. Vault Expedition. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some sort of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps to UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. I like how I got the word spectro spectrometers correct, but uh, uh, simpler ones throw me through a loop. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. <laughs> Great. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. It took- You son of a shit. I hear you. Why does it still say you have one health? Final level. Is this a fucker? Oh god, that's an asshole. Oh, I forgot this giant fucking Venus flytrap things were in here. Oh, look at that! Oh! Okay, I guess we're doing it. Oh, this has to be the, uh... Server. We didn't find Keely though. Is she in the caves? This is a big cave, and I have no fucking idea where Keely would be. Oh, Keely! Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Yeah, Angela Williams asked me to come find you. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Okay. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain okay. what needs to be done. Okay, I'm gonna follow you because I have no fucking clue how to get out of here. 
<laughs> I don't remember the way out. Stop running so fast, I need to follow you. Can you like Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. I hate them. I fixed the fucking elevator. Hmm, what's this? Did you do these repairs? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. Oh, there's no fucking way you beat me. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? I mean, yeah. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. Okay. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. No, 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 should be- Oh, are the- Oh! Alright, so we gotta- I'm just gonna- <laughs> just gonna quick save real quick. Cause I don't know how well- I gotta res survive the resulting blast. Okay. Um, maybe we can hide in this room. Can I, like- how do I close the door? Oh, I gotta get over here. <laughs> Did that work? <gasps> Don't worry, guys! I only have one health left! I'm hurt! <laughs> hey, boss, we need to have some words. <laughs> How are you guys doing? This sucks. Yeah, I fucking hate you. Yeah. I'm tired of your nose. That's acceptable. Alright, so I survived the resulting blast. Hey, yo, Keely. Ah, good. You survived. <laughs> Great. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and... That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently, and copied to an oh, external that was, source. That was me. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Actually, I copied the files. Hildern sent me here to get them. Yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it, then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Cool. Science, deleting those files makes it more likely that th this will happen again. Hmm, I mean, I could see how that would happen, because if they don't know how to be warned by it, then... How do you figure that? Science isn't about success. Failures are just as important to learn from. I suppose the data here could serve as a warning to other scientists. Tell them what paths of research not to follow. Exactly. Without that knowledge, something similar is bound to occur. Alright. You convinced me. Take the files back to that buffoon. You make a good point. But I still honestly hope you know what you're doing. Me too. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence just ringed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Goodbye. 800 Thanks caps. Thanks again. Really, I owe wow. you. Hey, dumbass. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. Pleasant. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. I brought some of the data from Vault 2, too. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. By the way, the vault was just as dangerous as Williams thought. I don't see how that's relevant. The dangers of the vault were your business, not mine. The only question is whether the data is still intact. I think Williams' decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, 
An agreeable sum, payable upon delivery of the data. Just be careful with that data. You didn't see those plants in the vault. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. Oh god, I've made a grave error in judgment. Oh, see, I thought he was gonna, like, read the data and be like, Oh crap, this experiment was a complete failure, so let's not try to replicate this. Instead he's like, We're the government, you can trust us. Ha ha ha. Jeez, mister. You see, Jimmy, our government has bullies too. Wow, really? That's right. Which is why we've developed some whiz-bang new weapons. So bullies around the world never bother us again. Huh, I think I get it. Well, Jimmy, maybe you should just see for yourself. Boy, thanks, mister. Careful there, sport. The Batman Tactical Nuclear Catapult. Enlist now and demo one today. I'm gonna have fucking man-eating plants all over the Mojave. I just delivered the invoice. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Sure. As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. I gotta get into the gun or the boomers, too. <laughs> a quick save. I think I've learned the secrets of how to do this. Get ready to hail Satan. We're hailing Satan. We're hailing Satan. Hailing Satan. Hail and Satan. Hail and Satan. Hail and Satan. Hail and Satan. Team 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 Satan. See. Oh wait, we're not on it yet. Nope. Team Satan. Team Satan. Team Satan. Team Satan. Team Satan. Team Satan. See. Fucking told you, team. Hold it right there. Don't Grandma you? was hailing Satan. How the hell Satan. did you survive that bombardment? <laughs> I just hailed Satan. Please help me. I'll take this from here. Yeah, I know. We've been through this. Welcome, child. Okay, I gotta go fucking speed run all of this garbage real quick. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. took me 15 minutes and 51 seconds. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? The Crimson Caravan sent me. They want to buy out your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Why not? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. I have an offer letter here in terms of fair. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. This outpost is the last place you want to be trapped. That... that's a good point. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. What are you gonna do now? No idea. Maybe... Head back west? You come with me. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Or I mean, why not? I could use somebody who knows these roads. Shh, guys. 
So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. If I bring you there, are they gonna kill you? Because that's gonna suck. Oh, back here. We know how well this works out. Hey, Henry. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. I'm here to talk to you about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? So, you don't have the Omerta's money yet. <laughs> I'll let them know about that. What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. Mm. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that you won't see my face again. Good to know. Grandma doesn't need to know about my exploits. Low Legion. Low Legion. Quick save? Because I don't know what's going to go down. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Grass won't need to worry about you anymore. Mojave's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. You shoot, you're going to regret it. <laughs> really? We'll see about that. She's a fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just lay a bunch of mines down? <laughs> Tossing mines around the store. Don't worry about me, guys. Did it just freeze? I'm sorry. Control, alt, delete. Control. Oh no. Oh, by the way, I got my. A great Pip-Boy hat. Like, I can't open the task manager either because it's like on that screen, which is... So, I mean, I guess I... that does it for this episode. Um, we got a lot done. I finished the boomers again. We completed Vault 2-2. And now I gotta figure out how to deal with the Van Graffs and hopefully get on the NCR's good side. But, um... I guess that will all be taken care of in the next episode because everything has fallen apart around me. So... Until then, see you in the next one. Our national anthem.